The regime has announced a potpourri of contradictory, self-defeating, punitive and vindictive measures with the intended aim of stopping or reversing the dramatic and rambacious free fall of the Zimbabwean dollar and the consequential inflationary spike experienced in the last two weeks. Truth is the measures are all thought and reflective of a paranoid moribund incompetent regime that believes everything and everyone is an enemy and a saboteur a regime that blames everyone except itself for the humongous mess it has plunged Zim into a regime that sees shadows everywhere. The dramatic fall of the exchange rate stems from the introduction of the Zims when the necessary preconditions were absent. It stems from a huge mismatch between supply and demand. It stems from the failure of the Dutch auction system. It stems from a huge budget deficit. Monetized through the printing of money. It stems from corruption and the billions of Zims being pummeled into the system from illegal deals given this only full and unmitigated re-dollarization provides a short-term solution. Anything else, including regime's new measures, is an absolute joke and a sheer worst of time policy making must never be allowed to be anecdotal or a product of beer hall diatribe. The new measures smack of that. Broad sweeping statements and conclusions are made without evidence and data. Major decisions are made without analyzing the legalities of the measures or their consequences on the macro or micro level. We have always argued that this is the worst government in the history of governments and the latest measures prove that the key points of the new measures are as follows a. Continuation of the Dutch auction system. b. Suspension of all lending by banks. c. Suspension of major services by stock brokers. g. Retailers and businesses allowed to charge in US dollar on a willing buyer willing seller exchange rate regime. h. US dollar taxes to government now to be paid on the willing buyer willing seller exchange rate regime. F. Increase in IMMT tax on US dollar transactions to 4% and 2% on Zim dollar. We now await the legal instruments necessary to effect the above measures. Safe to say that massive litigation is inevitable. For instance it is blatantly unlawful to ban banks from lending when it is their core business the new taxes and proposed civil penalties are unlawful the truth of the matter is that Zimbabwe deserves better. It deserves new leadership. Sure, hashtag Ngapind, Hake, Mukamana.